know that many pastors you, have, you knew are synonymous to begging. But this one different one. But what he said, he said, no, he's a pride. But it's not pride. It's not pride because the Bible that is available to you is available to me. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The Jesus that is available to you is available to me. The Holy Spirit that is available to you is available to me. And caution, there is no superior Christ or superior Holy Spirit. So we are all carrying the same thing, but at the point of obedience of faith, we get victory over the battles of life. If you're with me, say here. Yes, sir. Are you being blessed? Yes, sir. I want to see you financially prosperous. Yes, but you see, you have to make a decision to be yoked with Christ. See my point. The church I worshipped in 2011 in UK needed to pay for venue. I took the balance of my school fees, which was 2,000 pounds, gave to the church, which is to Almighty God, to pay for that venue. Are you getting what I'm saying? When I came back, time to renew my school fees, I couldn't pay. I was dropped out. Because it's not the pastor that influenced me, I didn't have anybody to blame. It is my love for Jesus Christ that motivated that action. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why I need you to know God for yourself so that you will not do because I did. Are you understanding me now? I was talking to somebody yesterday. I said, this decision to live for Jesus, let it come from you, not me. Because you will go through one suffering at one time for your decision to follow Christ. If it is induced by men, you will have somebody to blame. But if it is by revelation knowledge, you will remain thankful. I did what I did, not because a pastor influenced There was no pastor influencing me. And let me tell you, I can say this. I came from a family where we can compete with you on stinginess. So there is, I don't see any pastor who could have succeeded in breaking the stinginess that I came to this country with. The, what I came with was mega. I'm telling you, if you think you are stingy here, eh? if, like my former days, eh? let me tell you, your type, gather 100 to break something from my hand, you are a joker. Nothing, uh, in spirit term, is in Kemjika. <laughs> know what they call Kemjika? The one I'm holding is stronger. <laughs> my, my God, I used to be Aradite. Eh? Glue. Anything that enters me is, is a, a trap. It doesn't go out. It doesn't go out. So it could not have been any pastor. <laughs> but it was my love for Jesus. I love him so much that I was willing to sacrifice. You see, what Jesus did for you is not because God forced him. Go and die for those people on earth. It's a lie. Jesus died for us on the basis of love. That's why when he was going through the cross, he did not look at the people he died for. He said, that because of you I die. But see, I see they misbehave. God punish you there. He did not do that. He did not do that. Do you know why? It was love motivated. So even when he saw a Peter, he laid down his life for denying him. He said, Father, forgive him. Because he know not what he do. Do you know why? Nobody induced him or influence him against that. When you begin to love God at that dimension of passionate love, you cannot see anything. I, I say, eh, let that job go to hell. I, I say it with alacrity. Let that job go to hell that will make me put my worship to my maker above job. Let me caution you and guide you. Life is superior to COS. Yes. I want to say it again because I know to you now your workplace is your God if I don't take the shift they will cancel me and not give me any shift suffer for Christ yes. that's the message that is missing in the church and that's why when people come to KP Global they are still wondering is this church we are not intimidated by your lawlessness but in Jesus name you will become law abiding amen that's the whole goal. It's not to be intimidated. What, 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 why would I be intimidated? What is your shouting for? This boy is enjoying peace. Oh. And it, it peace. That's not my concern. When I finish, I go. They ask you for full money to come. I wouldn't need to ask you to go. That's why Jesus gave me legs. I have bicycle. <laughs> I'm a bicycle. has six speed. By the time I pedal it, I'm home. <laughs> And my bicycle has carrier. So I take my children one after the other. It's only patience. They wait. Drop this one. Come back. Drop this one. Come back. It's exercise. The pastor will stay fit. Who is complaining? Instead of me to beg you. My bicycle have not fed me. 
Anyway, he tried to fail me the other day. I came out. The hub, just the thing started running. I couldn't cycle again. I had to rush it to the bicycle mechanic and they changed the hub. 30 quid. That's a whole lot. <laughs> but my bicycle is back now, up and running. Bless God with me. <laughs> Even on top of my bicycle, you will not celebrate with me. <laughs> bicycle, you will not celebrate with me. You see, when you're not here, I bought private jet. You will just have heart attack. You will, just be, you, will, you will just use your phone. Be calling NHS. They say, what's going on? He say, I want to go into cardiac arrest. <laughs> I want to go into cardiac arrest. They say, what is it? He say, gentle, gentle, gentle. <laughs> celebrate God with me for my bicycle. Church, let's put our hands together. Celebrate Jesus for my bicycle. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I'm not complaining. Amen. How many of you have seen me while I'm riding my bicycle? Eh? My pastor. I greet them. I'm not ashamed of it. <laughs> Amen. Don't be ashamed of the level where you are. I see God lifting you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have you been blessed today? Yes, sir. I believe God's word has entered you. Yes, sir. I will not say much. Just go to Luke 14. Don't enter slide again. I will close. Luke 14. Luke 4, 18 and 19. I close. It's not in too much shouting. The spirit of God is here. Please be smart from today. Your God comes first. Please, I'm begging you by the word of the Lord. Then you will enjoy unusual favor. NLT, NLT, please. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. NLT, NLT, please. Help us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then we'll just make a declaration. And somebody use your phone. Just help me quickly, quickly. Uh, Luke 4, 18, NLT. If you are there, just read for me. Very quickly. Okay. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Say yes. yes. No, 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 no. You say it louder. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Say yes. yes. If I say the spirit of the Lord is upon you, you say I admit. The spirit of the Lord is upon you. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For he has anointed me to bring what? Good news to the poor. So God cares about your financial condition. Don't tell me that if you serve God, where, where the, is the deception of the enemy that if you serve God, you go poor? Where is it in the Bible? I am serving. I'm only being blessed. You see, that's why I tell people, don't jealous me because as I'm sacrificing for Jesus, you are telling story. See, since you came to the church, you have never come out for evangelism, but you are criticizing the church members. But you have not come out. Why you are criticizing? And that person is going evangelism, getting blessed by God. God forbid that you who don't do evangelism, I will come and beg you to fear what? What am I begging you for? To fear what? God forbid. God forbid that you who don't attend prayer, I will come and beg you. No way. What am I begging you for? That's why many of you, when you look at me, you're tired because he said, he said this man, he's street, oh, he this. Oh. But the fact that you know that I'm not at financial lack is liberty. You wake up in the morning, you are moving, you are going peacefully. Nothing like circumstance beyond my control. We put all circumstances under control. Yes, sir. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All circumstances, we put it under control. My God. He has sent me, take note, to proclaim that captives will be what? This morning, I proclaim liberty to everyone under financial captivity. Receive your liberty in the name of Jesus. Receive liberty in the name of Jesus. I say receive liberty in the name of Jesus. Watch. Because he's talking about the poor. Watch. That the blind we see. What is this blind we see? Obi, there is a miracle called eye-opening miracle. You know what it does? It makes you to see opportunities where people can't see it. It's a financial grace. It's a, remember, it's addressing the issue of poor, economic lack. Are you with me? He said that to, to proclaim liberty to the captive, but that the blind will see. Your eye need to open to see that your commitment to Christ and his kingdom is what you in charge. There is a dominion we enjoy in Christ. This thing is not talk. This thing is reality. Google it anywhere. Let anybody ask anybody. Let's say I collected money from them before. So he 
come to church, when we teach you giving, it's, what am I doing with your money? Before I met you, I was doing good. So it can't be, your money cannot change my life. Settle it. Come for what? What's, it? What's inside your money? How did you get it that I cannot see? What's the calm down? They are teaching you this thing. Just this your 250 that you are getting. No, nobody will hear what. Say, why will I give my tight? Give my what are you dragging? What are you dragging? Life. How much did you pay for it? How much? Do you know that there's a favor somebody will do for you without asking for money? You will dash them something. Yes. Eh? If if life was a favor and you were passing, God gave it to you, will you not give him more? Why are you misbehaving? Why are you misbehaving? Eh? Just a girl agreed to kiss you, you bought her car. God gave you life. What have you done for him? It was a girl agreed to kiss you, only kiss. You have already bought her car. Taking the money you are supposed to use and give to your wife and the children, you use it to buy a car for a girl. Just because she agreed to use her mouth where saliva is coming out from and kiss you. Yeah, you gave her a car. Why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? And Jesus gave you life because well, what produces saliva, you have to have life for saliva production. The one who gave you that life, you are still arguing to give him 10 pounds, 10 percent of your income. What has that girl that you are funding? What has she given you that is more than what Christ has given you? But look at how you are misbehaving. Even your mother. Your mother who helped you sold all her cloth to train you. You have not even helped her. You came to UK. A small girl is confusing you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Then you come to church. You have Why should we pay tight? Why should we pay tight? Foolish man. But when that girl confused you, what did she do to you that you gave her 1,000 pounds? Yeah, I will tell them. I will tell them, my sister. What did that girl do to you? And in how many minutes that you carry 1,000 give her? You did not see your wife to give the 1,000. That 1,000 you are giving that girl, you think it will not be good for your own wife? Shame on you. You come to church, they are talking about that. If I slap you, your brain will balance. <laughs> you sit down, my friend. Listen, let me tell you something. When you have come out from that girl manipulating you, you can come and talk to me. You are still under subjugation. A girl, have manip you, are in, you are in captivity. You think you have your say. In this service, she will just test you now. Can I, what's, give me the back, the CVV code of your card. You say, yes, honey, I'm coming now. You will send it. You did not argue. But when they tell you in church now, your, or your partnership, seat, you can set a direct debit for it. You will set a WhatsApp group to gossip me. That I say, I say you will set it. But look at how a girl is confusing you. You, you, are, you, are, sure you say you are sharp. Where is your brain? Before you talk to me, I say, where is your brain? That girl that's eating your money, why is she eating it? Is she not good for your wife? Look at how your wife has labored for you. When you were nobody, your wife stood for you. Yeah, yeah, come on. Just he said you should buy her Peruvian hair, 600 pounds. That's why you are shouting in the whole neighborhood. That's why you are shouting. Just buy her hair. You are shouting everywhere. But when you meet small girl, small girl like this, and the only thing she has agreed to give you is hug. Hug. That's the only thing she has agreed to give you. You have set direct debit for her. You have not wondered why that girl kept you in captivity. You are challenging why they should pay tight. Go ahead, sit down, my friend. Blind we what? See, there are opportunities. My goodness. Did you remember what happened to Sarah's maid, her guy, when she came out with the young boy? Am I correct? Uh, 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 what's it? Ishmael? And she cried out. He said, Lord, don't allow this boy to die of death. And the Bible said, and the Lord opened her eyes. And she saw that beside her was a well of water. She didn't see it before, but her eye opened. Your eye will open to opportunities. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Out of my heart, I prophesy on you. May the Lord open your eyes to financial opportunities. May the Lord open your eyes to financial opportunities. Where men see difficulties, you will see opportunities. If you believe it, let your amen be louder. And then the fourth one is that the oppressed will be set free. Do you know there is something called financial oppression? Excuse me, sir, I want to go to church. If you don't take that shift, we cancel all your shifts. Do you know that's financial oppression? Yes, sir. Are you aware? Yes, sir. No, answer me. Yes, Do you, your boss is not here now, so he will not sack you. Eh? Eh? Do you know that's financial oppression? Yes, you have been oppressed. Because as a human being, do you know that one of your fundamental human rights is a right to worship? 
Are you aware? The Muslims know it. It's you that don't know it. They have right. You have, it's one of your fundamental human rights. I read law. If you don't know where you can come, let me give you your fundamental human rights so you will know them. One of them is your right to worship. It's your right to worship. It's your right to worship. If you choose to stand for God, go back and tell them you can't work on Sunday. That you want to use it to serve your God. Let me tell you something. A, a God who gives you life, you should be more afraid of him and more eager to honor him than who gave you COS. Uh, let me tell you, no company can give you COS if you are dead. Yes, sir. Mark my word. Even this your life, even when you are not dead, anything that challenge your health, that cannot make you be available in the job, the COS will be cut off. Respect and honor the one who gave you life more than the one who gave you COS. In the journey, the equation, life is above COS. Yes, Stay balanced. This I'm teaching you, I'm not deceiving you. That I confronted you with truth. Don't go outside and be talking nonsense. Go accept the truth and be a better person. I'm a young man like you. If you feel a young person, I'm a young person like you. The country did not swallow me because I put God first. My evangelism is not in vain. My daily prayers is not in vain. It is paying off. Yes, sir. It's paying yes, off. Sir. Don't turn it to say it's pride. Because when you told what God did for you, nobody say you are proud. Yes, sir. So don't change my own to pride. I have right to, to testify. Yes, sir. yes, I have right to, to what to testify. Should be somebody have testified and God gave them just stresslessly. If I talk my own, I say he's proud. Uh, you, only you can testify. No, no, no. I have right to testify. Amen. Amen. I'm walking in abundance. I'm walking in abundance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that oppression, financial oppression, God wants to set you free from it. And that the time of the Lord's favor, want to go. Want to go. The time the Lord to favor you financially has. Has. Now go to my declaration uh, that I put there. I will make this declaration. I will pray for you. Hear this. Without a shadow of doubt, I want you to know four things. God wants to prosper your life. Amen. Number two, God wants to supply all your needs. Amen. Number three, God wants to enable you to give liberally. Amen. And number four, God wants you to generously sponsor the gospel. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I will say it again. There are four things I want you to know without a shadow of that. Number one, God wants to prosper your life. You see his package. You see his package for your finance. You see his package for your finance. You see what he's talking about? Addressing issue of financial drought. Are we together? God wants to prosper your life. Number two, God wants to supply what? All your needs. Scripture authenticates this in Philippians 4, 19, that my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. So God wants to supply your needs. God wants to enable you to do what? To give liberally and generously. And lastly, God wants you to generously do what? Spread the gospel. Now, let's take the confession for the day, and I'm going to pray with you. It's a very simple prayer, but listen to me. It's not in shouting. This thing is working. I've been given a rod by God. It's economic emancipation. But I tell you the truth, God will not cause that to rest on you for you to use it for your personal aggrandizement only. No. God is after the kingdom. Are we together? So let's make this confession. One to go. You are not saying it loud. One to go. If you believe it, say a big amen. amen. In case you don't know, you know what's hand to mouth existence? Eh? And to my, I, I just paid for my bill now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hey, provide the one for next month. Oh, I just bought fuel now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hand to my existence. Where you are driving, the fuel shows low. You start praying, prophesying. You will take me home. You will take me home. Oh, car, hear you the word of the Lord. You are taking me home in Jesus' name. And as you just got to your gate, the car just quenched. You say, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. That's hand to mouth existence. I declare today, the Lord sets you free from it. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, want to go loud and clear. Poverty is not God's will for my life. Do you believe it? Yes, sir. Declare it again. Do you believe it? Yes, Enforce it again. Glory to God. Amen. Now, number three, one to go. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 
the abundant life of Christ is flowing in me. Open your mouth and make that declaration. Be excited, brother. Be excited, sister. It's flowing in me. It's flowing in me. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And lastly, want to go? Therefore, I testify. Glory to God. Will you declare it right now? I testify I abound in blessings. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am enjoying financial favor. In the name of Jesus. I'm enjoying financial favor. This week everywhere I go. Scarcity is broken. I'm enjoying financial favor. In the name of Jesus. I testify that I have sufficient income. I testify that I have sufficient income. And blessings are bound to me. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Everybody.